This is Montenegro, a country with one of the oldest olive trees alive, estimated to be around 2,000 years old. Today, we're looking at a nation known for its history full of endurance and natural riches. Stay to the end to uncover the stories in Montenegro's landscapes, from rugged mountains to pristine beaches, making it a true gem of the Adriatic. Montenegro is located in southeastern Europe on the Adriatic coast. The country has a total area of 13,812 square kilometers, making it one of the smallest countries on the Balkan Peninsula. However, despite its small size, Montenegro has quite a varied and diverse geography. A large part of Montenegro is mountainous, with high mountains and ridges along the borders. The coastal region in the southwest has a Mediterranean climate, with hot, dry summers and mild, rainy winters. Inland areas have a more continental climate, with very cold winters and hot, dry summers. The coastal region along the Adriatic Sea makes up only 5% of Montenegro's territory, but it contains well-developed beaches and bays. Major bodies of water include Lake Skadar, which borders Albania and is the largest lake in the Balkans, as well as rivers such as the Moracha River. Significant geographic regions in Montenegro include the Adriatic coastline, the karst region in the west, which contains canyons, caves and sinkholes, and the mountainous regions which cover two-thirds of the country. Mount Durmitor is part of a major national park. Some of the earliest human settlements in Montenegro date back to prehistoric times. It was later settled by Illyrian tribes. From 168 BC to 620 AD, Montenegro was part of the Roman and Byzantine empires. Slavic tribes settled the region during the 6th century AD. In the medieval period, Montenegro consisted of several principalities that fought for independence from foreign powers like Serbia, Bosnia, Venice and the Ottoman Empire. A prominent leader was Stefan Nemanja in the 12th century. His son eventually established the Serbian Kingdom. During the 15th century, Montenegro fell under the dominion of the Ottoman Empire. Although certain highland clans maintained a measure of autonomy, Repeated uprisings against Ottoman rule proved unsuccessful. The Konojevich dynasty established an independent principality in the 15th and 16th centuries before getting defeated by the Ottoman conquest. Montenegro achieved de facto autonomy from the Ottoman Empire during the 17th and 18th centuries. Formal recognition of full independence came at the Congress of Berlin in 1878. Transitioning into a kingdom in 1910, under the rule of Nicholas I, Montenegro aligned with the Allies during World War I. However, despite its initial stance, Montenegro faced defeat and was eventually incorporated into Yugoslavia. In the 1990s, Montenegro peacefully separated from Serbia during the breakup of Yugoslavia. After a referendum in 2006, Montenegro declared independence, becoming the world's newest sovereign state. The World Bank estimates that 610,000 people reside in Montenegro. The country has a multi-ethnic population, with Montenegrins making up the largest ethnic group at around 45% of the total. Serbs are the next largest at around 28%, followed by Bosniaks, Albanians and other minority groups. Orthodox Christianity is the dominant religion in Montenegro, with about 70% of the population identifying as Orthodox. Most Montenegrins and Serbs follow the Serbian Orthodox Church. Muslims make up around 19% of the population. Most Muslims in Montenegro are Bosniaks and Albanians who follow Sunni Islam. Catholics account for about 4% of the population, mainly along the coast. There is also a small Protestant community. The most widely spoken language is Montenegrin, the official language of Montenegro. Montenegrin is very similar to Serbian. 
Most citizens also speak Serbian, while Bosnian, Albanian and Croatian are also spoken by significant numbers. Montenegro cuisine is influenced by its Mediterranean climate and diverse cultural history. Here are some of the most popular and iconic dishes of Montenegro. Njegushi prosciutto is a raw cured ham that originated in the village of Njegushi. It is prepared by smoking the meat above a wood fire for up to a month. The ham has a unique smoky flavor and is considered a national delicacy. It is often served very thinly sliced. This stew dish starts by slow cooking lamb chunks in milk for hours until tender. Vegetables like potatoes and peppers are then added to the rich creamy sauce. The milk tenderizes the meat and gives the dish its iconic white color. It's a beloved comfort food. Chavapi are grilled minced meat sausages popular across the Balkans. In Montenegro, they are flavored with garlic, pepper, and beef fat. Chavapi is often served with flatbread, onions, and kajmak cream for dipping. Burek is a savory baked pastry typically filled with meat, cheese, potato, or spinach. In Montenegro, zeljanica burek with spinach is common. Layers of filo dough sandwich the fillings into a hearty, flaky baked dish that can be eaten for any meal. Montenegro began transitioning from a centralized to a market-based economy in the 1990s after the breakup of Yugoslavia. There was significant economic damage and decline due to the Yugoslav wars in the 1990s. However, in recent years, Montenegro has experienced steady economic growth. The World Bank estimates that its GDP is about $6 billion as of 2023. Montenegro has very few natural resources. Its main economic drivers are tourism, agriculture and energy. Tourism centers around the Adriatic coastline. Key agricultural exports include wine and olive oil. There is aluminum production and hydropower potential. Montenegro uses the euro as its official currency. Montenegro has a very high trade deficit, importing far more than it exports. Unemployment remains relatively high at around 15% as of 2019. The informal grey economy is estimated to be quite large at over 20% of GDP. The architecture of Montenegro reflects diverse influences from the Mediterranean Byzantine Empire and the Venetian Republic that have shaped its landscape. Examples include the medieval town of Kotor, with narrow streets and 12th and 14th century Gothic churches and buildings. Setinja Monastery, founded in 1484, exemplifies organic Orthodox architecture with its Baroque revival church and library. The 17th century cliffside Ostrog Monastery was remarkably built into a vertical cave. Montenegrin art originated from medieval religious paintings like frescoes and icons. In the 19th century, modern Montenegrin painting emerged featuring landscapes and portraits Famous artists include Petar Lubada, who created expressionist landscapes. Montenegro has a strong oral tradition of epic folk poetry. In the 18th century, two bishops left a mark on Montenegrin literature, Petar I, Petrovic Njegos, and Petar II, Petrovic Njegos. Prince Bishop Petar II is considered Montenegro's greatest poet for works like The Mountain Wreath. In the 20th century, Novelists like Mihailo Lalic gained renown with books featuring Montenegrin life. If you enjoyed this video on Montenegro, you'll love this next one.